Tankers, this is Eric over at uh, Tyson Tanks, and today we're going to be replacing some gearboxes in one of our Tiger One tanks. Now, I've already gone ahead and did a few things here. I uh, went ahead and taped the, ha the hatches here, here, and here, and pretty much just when I turn over the uh, the top hole, I don't want the hatches flying around and stuff like that. Um, I've already disconnected the top hole, um, and I've also there we go. Um, I've also taken off the tracks already as well. There, I already have a video on how to take off tracks. Um, look at our YouTube page and uh, look for how to remove tracks. I've also taken the little bar off right here. Uh, the only thing I did is just unscrewed one screw right here. Um, it's just a little stress bar that keeps the, the hole fenders up nice and neat. So I just moved that off to the side. You only have to remove one. Uh, next, what we're going to do uh, is replace these drive wheels. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull these guys off. Um, they will probably be stuck. Um, I will show you guys an easy way to get off the drive wheels from the shaft. Our shafts are a little bigger than some of the other cheaper ones around, so it's a little bit better fit, um, which is sometimes a little pain in the butt to remove, but I'll show you a trick to do that. Um, so uh, I've also already went ahead and removed the caps for the drive wheels as well. Just go ahead and use yourself a flathead screwdriver to get that off. Um, you will need a 3mm. Uh, for taking off the drive wheels here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just unscrew this guy here. Now the top piece should come off fairly easy, just like that. Now for lucky, the bottom piece will come off fairly easy. Um, this one's starting to come off, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on there so I can show you guys the trick. Now this other side, we're going to do the same. I don't drop my tools everywhere here. Once again, this is just a three millimeter, nothing special, huh? So that one came off really easy. Let's see if this comes off. All right, it's starting to, but this one's a little tighter than the other. So now we have the outsides of the drive wheels taken off. We just have the insides left. So the simplest way to do that is to go ahead and unscrew the gearboxes and tap out from the inside of the gearboxes. The way these shafts work, I'm going to show you guys the uh, what I'm going to replace with here is we've got a flat on the shaft right here okay and this flat right here is where the drive wheel is sitting on and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to push with our two and a half millimeter here actually this is two we're going to do it with a two and a half and we'll push it through the drive wheel and it'll go all the way down here and we'll press down on the gearbox to press it out and not hurt this drive wheel at all okay and there's no damage to the inside threads because we're going to use a two and a half millimeter so, uh, the reason we are replacing these gearboxes is uh, we had one go ahead and pull out of its plug right here, and our customer went ahead and requested a steel gearbox upgrade. So we're just going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these screws. Now, depending on which tank you have, you're going to have either two or three screws in each side of the gearbox. You may need to move this power or this uh, smoke unit switch right here. You may need to move it just a hair to get back to this last screw. Now, when you take these gearboxes out, guys, um, when you make sure you pay attention to where these screws are. I will explain this as we pull these screws out. This is our handy little, um, as we call it around here, our booger picker. It's from Total Recall. Okay. Pull a little microchip out of your nose. Um, so we're just going to reach down and grab our screws here. Um, you can use a pair of needle nose, and you can use even just a pair of magnetic screwdrivers. I don't use them around here. Um, so this, this step is going to be unnecessary for some of you guys out here that are already running uh, magnetic tools here. Okay, so now our gearboxes are completely loose, both of them in here. Now once again, there's the easy way to get them out is to lean it on its side here. Now the gearbox is free flowing here, okay? So the only way that it's staying in here is by this drive wheel on the outside. So we're gonna find our uh, two and a half here. We're gonna put it in there. Once again, that's a two. Uh, so we're gonna find this guy here and just stick it in. And that's just how we're gonna leave it. Now I have a jeweler's hammer here. Uh, you know, go ahead and insert your tiny hammer joke here. Um, but we're just gonna give it a few taps. 
Now, don't do more than two or three at a time. Uh, you will feel it as it goes. Um, there's our drive wheel. So we took off the drive wheel with no damage at all. The drive wheel, no scratches, no anything. And the gearbox is loose. Now carefully turn it back over on the other side. And we're going to do that once again. Now this one is probably going to take a few more taps. Once again, two or three taps at a time. Not hard. Okay, now I can feel that moving each time I hit that. So I know I've got just a little bit left here. And that's it. So once again, we have removed both of our drive wheels off of both of our gearboxes with absolutely no damage at all. So as you guys can see here, there is the busted wire um, and connector. It is possible to fix these connectors. Um, what I'm going to do is just pull out that connector there, um, and I'll repair that later for myself for personal use. So gearboxes will come out really easy. Now, if you wanted the stock gearboxes, you would go... For this tank anyways, guys, every tank has its own gearbox, so please call us if you're not sure which one you're going to get. Um, for the Metal Tigers, the stock replacement is going to be part number 120040, and that is a 4 to 1 high-low 48mm um, shaft. Now, what I'm going to be replacing it with is the 120024, which is our steel gearboxes in a high-low 48mm uh, shaft with 4 to 1s. So, now to install high lows, sometimes people have a little bit of difficulty putting these guys in. I find it's a lot easier to just put them in at the same time, kind of like this. And once you get the first motor in, you can kind of collapse them inwards. And then there. That's all you have to do. Now, when I was talking earlier, I told you guys to pay attention where your screws go. I'm going to show you guys like this here, how your screws should be mounted. These big coarse screws here course threads here are going to go in the front of your gearbox mount. The reason these guys go in the front is because they're actually um, attached to the lower uh, chassis but through the uh, plastic part. So you will want coarse threads there. Then you'll have fine threads. These are for the metal. Okay and then you'll have one more on this side over here back like that. So the, the fine thread screws are going to go into the metal chassis here or to the metal motor plate. And these coarse threads are going to go into the plastic. So let's go ahead and install these guys. Once again, you guys will probably have a little bit less problem if you're using magnetic screwdrivers. So let's put the first one in. And here's the next one. And I'm only just half starting these. I'm not actually screwing them in. It's just the uh, this actually provides enough tension to start the screw pretty well. Alright, so then after this one, we'll just have one more screw. Once again, you guys might have to move this on off switch where you're smoking at. And then one screw here. Alright, so now we'll just tighten these up. Now, these front guys don't tighten these too much. Once again, those are going into plastic. So make sure you just. You know, just kind of hand tight, one over tight. Now the other screws, which are the fine threads, you can get those a little tighter because those are going into the metal motor plate on the bottom. And then make sure you move your power switch back into its original position when you're done. And then we can hook up the motors. There. And run this one over here. And that's it. So that is a motor swap. And, or well, we should say gearbox swap for the Tiger one. Now the same process will apply across all platforms. Pretty much what you're doing is just removing the drive wheels here. You're taking out the old gearbox right here. And then you put in the new ones. Screw those down. Put these guys back on. Put your tracks back on. And you're done. Shouldn't take you more than about 20-25 minutes on your first attempt. And most of that will probably be just examining it, seeing how it works. Um, after you've done this once or twice, this should take you probably about 10 minutes or so. Um, if you guys are familiar with any kind of RC work, it should take more than 10 or 15 minutes. Um, if you guys need anything else at all, um, we are available uh, at hydrotanks.com. Just go ahead and hit the contact page and send us an email.